Hi, my name is Adam Scott Wand. I'm a professor and technologist at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, which is part of the City University of New York. Today I'm here to unbox and review one of the new high-end keyboards out on the market. Moshi's Luna low-profile illuminated keyboard is the perfect accessory for a Mac OS X or Windows 7 computer. I'm going to unbox it, review it, set it up, try it out, all right now. So we are here to unbox, set up, and review the Moshi Luna low-profile keyboard with illuminated keys. This is fairly new on the market. It is compatible with Mac OS X and Windows 7. I have the US layout. One of the best parts about this keyboard is that it actually has the buttons for Mac OS X. So you have your Command, Alt, Option buttons. This is one of the new high-end keyboards that are out on the market. It is stylish. Moshi puts a lot of effort into making sure that their products are artistic and stylish. When I review these products, one of the things I focus on is the environmental shipping of the product. And I think one of the interesting things is that this is printed with soy ink, so it's printed as a renewable resource, and that the entire box is a recyclable number one. Let's go ahead, let's open it up, let's unbox it, and let's take a look at it. We'll remove the plastic. Flip it back over. And the top lifts up from the front of this keyboard. The top doesn't just lift right off, it lifts off from the front. And you can immediately see the beautiful keyboard inside. On the top of the box, we have uh, some directions. Um, it does say that there are some buttons for Mac OS X. However, there are some buttons for Windows. It also gives us a little guide to set it up so we can sit ergonomically. The keyboard itself lifts right up from the bottom. Uh, you can already tell that it's very high quality, a lot of high glossy plastic. We could see the keys for the Mac, the eject button as well. I bought the wired edition. Um, I only use wired keyboards now for security reasons. It also comes with a nice size cloth to clean it with. There's no other uh, instructions in the box, no other paperwork. So I'm going to set this up on my computer. We're going to review it. We're going to try it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, the typing with the keyboard is extremely smooth. It is silent. The keystrokes are very smooth. The only key that I hear is the space bar, which is normal in most key keyboards. Up on the top here, we have a row of different keys. The F1 and F2 raise and lower the screen brightness. F3 brings up mission control. F4 brings up my dashboard. F5 and F6 control the illuminated backdrop, which we'll look at more in a minute. F7, F8, F9, they control music and iTunes, it looks like. Let me see if they work. If I just hit it, it launches perfect. It's launching iTunes just by me hitting play. Um, and I'm assuming iTunes will open up and I'll get some music out of it. Let's find out. I had to manually click on iTunes. It loaded, but it didn't actually play. Um, let me try hitting play again, or I might have to select my music. No, that didn't work. But if I play some music... Let's see if the commands work. I'll try pausing. That works. Pausing and unpausing. Let me try going back to the beginning of the soundtrack with the F7 key. The F, just tapping the F7 key seems to rewind about five seconds. Tapping the F9 key goes to the next song. And I'm assuming that if I double tap, let me try if I'm in the, if I'm in the middle of a song and if I double tap F7, then it will go back to the beginning of the song or the one before it. All right, so the seven 
F8, F9 keys work wonderful with iTunes. The F10 through F12 are not labeled at all. On the right here, well, we have a print screen scroll lock uh, and function lock. The function lock, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it lights up a small F on the top right here. Um, and what those should do, which they do, is they change the hot keys up on top into the F keys. Let me turn that back off. Uh, we have a print screen button, which does not seem to have any function. Uh, it's not mapped to do anything useful in OS X, at least on the desktop. Insert home, page up and page down. The arrow keys, which work. What I really like about this keyboard, too many keyboards today are starting to leave the number keys off the right-hand side. Uh, the number keys are, are really important for me, obviously, in some of the work that I do. And it's nice to have a keyboard back with the number keys on the right-hand side. Also, above the number keys, we have an eject button. Let me see if that works. The eject button does work. And we have volume up and volume down and mute buttons. We also have a num lock um, and a clear button. And the num lock, uh, let's see if it works. I don't think the num lock button is working right now. Caps lock does work, and when you use the caps lock, you get a little capital A up here. All right, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to use this keyboard for a while, and let's see how it turns out. I'm going to use it for a couple hours and type some stuff up, and uh, we'll come back and we'll see how I like it. So I've been playing around with the keyboard for quite some time now, uh, editing my syllabus for this upcoming semester's Security of Information and Technology class, and I'm pretty happy with it overall. The keys are quiet, with the exception of the space bar, which I hear the spring every time I hit it. Um, I like the angle. I believe it's at about a 90-degree angle, so it's automatically elevated. One of the important things to understand about this keyboard is the bottom of it does not come with adjustable angling mechanisms. It's um, at a permanent angle, and you cannot adjust it, so that's an important thing to point out. One of the other things that's important to point out as well about this keyboard is it does not come with a built-in USB hub. Uh, today, most keyboards come with at least one built-in USB connection, and this does not. I thought that with a plug-in keyboard, uh, I would absolutely get a USB hub in the keyboard, and I didn't. Um, so those are the two negatives about the keyboard. The first one being the USB hub, and the second one being that you cannot adjust the angle. The positives about the keyboard, um, I really like the feel. Um, I think that this feels like a good keyboard. I feel comfortable typing on it. The other positive thing about the keyboard is the majority of the keys are completely silent, so if you're working around other people, it won't disrupt them. Now, one of the things that I can't ignore is the LED backlighting. As I mentioned, I work late at night very often, so it's nice having a keyboard that could light up when I dim the lights in the room. I have always enjoyed this feature on my MacBooks, and it's really nice to now have it on a full-size keyboard. One of the things about this keyboard, which is worth pointing out, is that the fingerprints really show up on the clear plastic bottom, especially when you have the backlight on high. You can see here how my fingerprints are on the plastic. Problem is, you can't even get them off without going to the bottom of the plastic, uh, because in this case, they were on the bottom, and they're actually fairly hard to scrub off. Um, I could tell that this keyboard is going to be a challenge to keep clean right from day one just because of all the high, glossy, shiny surfaces. Um, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up, and we will go from there. It's almost that the fingerprints glow on the keyboards. So I've been using the keyboard for a good amount of time, and I have some clear positives and negatives. The Downsides to this keyboard are the lack of a USB 2.0 hub built into the keyboard itself and the fact that your oily fingerprints quickly bring the keyboard from looking like a piece of art to a piece of junk. One of the other disadvantages of this keyboard is it's at a 9 degree angle and there's no way to adjust it to either raise or lower the angle. Some of the things I love about this keyboard are its quiet typing and the fact that it has the illuminated backlit design. Believe it or not, I work quite often in low light, especially late at night, and it's nice to be able to see the keyboard and have a backlit design. It's very close to the MacBook and MacBook Pro design that Apple currently has. Well, that's it for the keyboard for today. 
My name is Adam Scott Want. I'm a professor and technologist at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, part of the City University of New York, where I serve as chair and senior researcher with the CUNY Skunk Works Academic Technology Research and Development Group. Hope to see you back soon for some more product reviews.